Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we are doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems but before we begin today guys I want to say a massive thanks because we are almost at 5,500 subscribers now though that is that's insane like we're almost halfway to 6,000 already so yeah it's absolutely amazing so just a massive massive thank you to you all because it really really means a lot and a massive thanks to everyone who has um, been liking the videos and stuff a lot recently as well because it really helps the channel out um so yeah just a huge thanks as always because it's absolutely uh, crazy how far um we have got this channel now so yeah just a massive thank you there but anyways yeah today we are doing a system from the user rens21 on discord so um yeah they private messaged me this and um sent me a system so it's called the the renski system i'm hoping i'm saying that right so yeah let's go ahead and search it up and let's check it out so r-e-n there we go so let's see what we got here today right it will load. Come on, game. There we go. Ooh, okay. So, we got a um, lot of objects in here. Looks quite laggy as well. 7,000 objects. Okay, that would explain it. So, let's go into the center here. So, we are starting off with Carolina as our biggest star, I'm presuming, here. So, it's got two masses of sun. 25 in luminosity as well. So, there it is. So, there it is. Carolina. How large is it compared to our sun? It looks a little larger than Sirius, I want to say. I usually use that to compare as well uh, there's the sun compared to it so yeah, it's sort of around the sort of size of Sirius I'd say around that yeah there you go so it literally pretty much is a serious sort of size so there it is there all right looking good I will turn off the zone just to help um, with the lag all right so um, first up we've got a uh, cuit and it looks like a lot of the uh, these objects are losing material which is probably why it's causing lag there but um, yeah we've got um, this one here so I'm really don't know how to pronounce that one i'm sorry but uh, yeah we got um this one here so there's a good look of it on the other mode here so you can see that so there we go it's a hot gas giant at 400 degrees as well so yeah no moons though all right so next up we got um furzive serve <laughs> i'm so so sorry if i scrap that name really bad but i mean anyway, so we got a gray looking gas giant let me get a full look at this guy oh no it's a gray and green okay Right, cool. So, um, yeah, there it is there. And it's also got a moon, so it's the first planet of a moon as well. So, there we go, 100 degrees. So, yeah, these are still relatively a hot area for this system as well. There's a lot of objects smoking up in this system as well. Okay, so we've got a um, one with clouds here. Okay, it's 400 degrees. Ooh, uh, the clouds look nice on that. So, um, orange, um, one of the default colored atmospheres you can get when you spawn in as well, the orangey brown color. So, yeah, there it is that. All righty. So next up, we've got um, Mesitas. I'm hoping that's how you say that one. So yeah, it's only at 3 degrees, so a little cold. And it's also got a moon as well, in a similar color scheme as well. So yeah, there we go. So it's going with like a blue and orange sort of theme that we can get. A... Yeah, it's pretty much the same object, just switched around. Like you can see the colors are pretty much exactly the same, just switched around. So pretty cool. So yeah, they're the matching objects right there. How large is this object as well? Okay, it's a little larger than enough. All right, so there are those. All right, next up, we've got Cap Rens 21. This is a blue with a pink surface. Okay, so there it is there. Let's check the stats on this as well. Um, 94 and then 71. Okay, not bad. It's 9 degrees Celsius as well. How much ATM have we got on here? Okay, so a little under ATM. Okay, so 0 0.8. All right, yo. So, yeah, there it is there. So, Cap Rens 21. So, there we go. Or Captain Rens. So, um, there we are. Next up, we've got N Indian. Really hope I'm saying that wrong. Enilian. So this is a, a cyan and blue colored object right here. Got a bit of a like a more pale sky sort of color there. So you've got that one. Righty yo. And then we've got Dark Moon. So this is um this looks like the same object just in a different color, I want to say. Is it the same size? It's the same texture. Okay, so they are slightly different in size as well. This one's going for black and white theme there. Alrighty. Right, so next up we have got this one. So um you Bernay. Okay, so there we are. So it's going with a, a cyan blue atmosphere, the one you get when you spawn in as well. Minus 117 degrees. Pretty much the same size as Earth there. A little more in the mass. And then it's uh, got no life like it at all because I don't think there's any water on the sky. And it's pretty chilly, pretty chilly here. All right, and then we have Ark. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, I'm liking the color of this. It's going for green and black theme. That's definitely one of the coolest objects we've seen so far. If you ask me, that's looking really nice. The green, black, and white theme. That looks really... That's a really nice object, actually. So, yeah, there it is there. All right, so we have Ark. Now, I don't know if that's a reference to the game Ark or not, but if it is, very nice. Um, so, yeah, there is it. 
All right, so next up we got a planet, or I'm assuming this is a planet. Okay, so, so it looks like it's a brown dwarf, it, which is in binary with the center star. Okay, so it's 12 Jupiters in mass. Yeah, this is a brown dwarf, I'd say. Or is it? Or is it just really hot? I don't know, because we can't really play it, because it's pretty uh, pretty crazy with the amount of objects. I, I, I don't want to press Control d yet, in case there's any rings anywhere. So, yeah, we've got um, Light Ass here. So, there it is, 800 degrees, 12 masses in Jupiter, quite a big object. Then we got um, Fitty Nuss. So, here is this one. It's going with a brown and dark sort of blue color there. Rightio. Then we got um, this one here, Zytro. So, we've got this one. There it is up there. One of the other random spawned gas giants in there. All right. Then we got a planet with moons. Oh, an Earth-like planet as well. It's got some water on it. Okay, very nice. Um, let's check these stats. So it's got 93 on life on on Earth and then 10 on life. All righty. So there it is there. Has a lot of ATM. Doesn't reflect a lot of light. It's pretty much the same size as Earth. It's just um, a little colder than Earth. So I really like the cyan colors on that. Cyan. We've got like a light magenta and then a more of a darker blue here. So that is looking really nice indeed. That's some nice um, Earth-like world. So there we go. Then we got um, Ubernae. It's just a uh, random little asteroid there. Then we've got a uh, another um, planet here with or another moon. This is a moon of a planet with its own moon. So yeah, this is probably uh, one of the reasons for it, the simulation being quite slow as well. It's just because when the more if you have an object orbiting an object orbiting an object, yeah, it can always uh, slow it down a bit more than usual. Um, but yeah, there it is. There, so just a tiny little guy, quite close to that one as well. So that's orbiting that, and that's orbiting the brown dwarf. And then lastly, we have this one. So we've got Salby here, and then we've got Berry. Oh, I'm liking the um, colours on that. So it's a, uh, we've got a hot pink, then we've got like a lighter sort of pony pink is what I call it, just because that's what Grand Theft Auto calls it. And then we've got like a really, really light green there. Is that a light? more of a lime green there? But yeah, anyways, there it is there. So Berry, nice um, pink colour scheme there. All right, and then next up we got um, Sorry, or S-0-R-R, -R, capital Y. So there it is there, going with a cyan and purple magenta theme again. That is a nice colour mix. We've seen um, colours like this um, in previous um, systems as well. This is a really nice colour scheme. I do like it a lot. So, um, yeah, there it is, cyan and um, the magenta there. That's a really nice colour. So there we go. And then we've got a good view of the brown dwarf there, like we can see here. Could make quite a cool thumbnail actually um, with the planet and the brown dwarf in the sky there. So yeah, there it is that one. Right, so now we are moving out of the little binary area to this next section. So this is another star, one massive sun. Alrighty. So here we go here. So this is, yeah, that is literally the sun with the stats there. I can tell there. So it's a renamed sun. Right, so then we've got all of these guys. So first up we've got a Mercury-like object here with a blue and white color scheme. Then we've got this one here. This reminds me, I almost thought that was Pluto. Look at that. That literally looks like Pluto <laughs> with the color scheme. Look at that. Wow. That's, that is really close to what Pluto's color is. Like, let's get a comparison with that quick. Like, that is, that is very, very similar. Is this a random spawn? Let me know because look at the colors. They are perfectly spot on with that. Like, look at that. They are literally the same color scheme, except Pluto's a little brighter. But you can see they're pretty much spot on with the colors like, i don't think we can get any more closer to a custom pluto than that but yeah there it is so there we go and also guys i have seen a lot of people saying a pluto competition video now the only thing is pluto already has a texture and the only thing you can really add to it is an atmosphere like do you guys want to see that like do you want a pluto competition because the only thing we can do is an atmosphere so it's not really much uh, customization you can do so that's what i was thinking when i saw that but yeah let me know if you guys want max i guess we could do it but yeah, I don't really think it's a good idea uh, myself, because um, you can't do anything to Pluto, honestly. Um, so, yeah, anyways, next up we got um, Reto 2B here, and I'm liking the colours on this. It reminds me of um, a race car livery, actually, a paint job for a race car. It reminds me of the Golf livery, if anyone knows what that is, the Golf racing colours, the light blue and the orange. It reminds me of that um, theme there. So, and it's got a little bit of white on it as well. That's a, I, I like that. I have to say, that is a nice one. So, Reto 2B. Right, so next up we got um, this one over here. It looks like it's got no atmosphere, but it's got water on it. So here it is here. Yeah, no um, no atmosphere it doesn't look like. Yeah, no no atmosphere at all. It's 78 degrees, so this definitely wouldn't be hatable at all. But yeah, no life like could here, so there's no atmosphere. So then we've got Bell 04. That's just the moon. And this moon is very... Look how big this moon is compared to the planet. That's quite a large moon compared to the parent planet. So yeah, there it is there. So 118 degrees here. We're going for cyan and green. Oh, I'm liking that. That is very, very nice indeed. So there we go. 
looking good. All right, next up we've got this object here. I'm not going to bother saying the names because, yeah, they're quite long. Okay, so this one has rings. That's where the um, the possible lag was coming from. But yeah, check it out. It's got the different colored rings. So like we saw in one of Mark's solar systems, we can see it's got different colors of ring segments and pretty crazy rings. I know a few people, not just Mark, but I think a few people have done like rings all with different colors um, in them and stuff. And this one has got like a white ring. Then it's got a blue ring, as we can see. But yes, we've got white then we've got blue. Then it goes to white again. Then further out, it goes to like a uh, Uranus light sort of blue color there. So it's got f three different colors in that ring system. They're all matching the parent planet as well. If you've noticed, it's got white, blue, and then like a green color at the end. Like a very, very light green. So yeah, he's actually uh, matched the colors with the um, gas giant. There. That's a nice um, little addition, I have to say. Yeah, so it goes blue, white, and then the green at the very end. So we get this color. So yeah, very, very cool. I like that. That is a nice gas giant. So there we are. Right, so let's go back to orbits so we are there All right so next up we have got this one so here we go so another earth like planet at 76 degrees this one does have an atmosphere this time and obviously it's got two stars because we've got the other star over there the sirius star so there it is there so 76 degrees a little hot i mean i definitely wouldn't be able to survive here at all <laughs> all right i'm pretty sure none of us would actually um so we've got 83.6 um, and then we've got 67.5 so there it is there, going with a nice green and um, yellow sort of colour theme there. Alrighty. All right, and then we've got this one here called Ren 201, going with a red and white coloured theme. And we've got that shadow. Is that the shadow glitch? Yeah, it is. Look, you can see, disappears and reappears. It's, this, this glitch, I believe, is activated by having more than one star in the system, I want to say. But yeah, this is one of the glitches that you guys had mentioned to me. And I haven't had it in my own systems, but yeah, it, it seems like um, this system seems to have a problem with that stupid shadow, shadow glitch. And apparently the Frozen glitch is still in the game as well, even though there was a bug fixing update. They haven't really bug fixed anything apart from the Steam Workshop. Yeah, someone did say, uh, do a video on the update, but to be honest, there's, the update included nothing new. It was just Steam Workshop updates and stuff, so nothing really uh, new in the game itself, which is kind of annoying, but um, yeah, we have to live with that, sadly. Anyway, so this is going with it. I really like that purple, it's more of a blue colour. I really, really like that colour with the red and the white as well. That is a nice mix of colour. So that is looking very nice. And then we've got JRT. And this is going also with a wacky colour theme. It's got a bit of frozen ice on it as well, you can see. Going with the magenta and blue theme again. But this time, magenta is the um, stronger colour, I want to say. It's the, yeah, the low elevation. So yeah, there it is that. Very, very nice indeed. Then it's got a few asteroid moons around it as well. So there we are. Alrighty. So there we go. Next up, we've got another Carolina. I think I think these are just random spawn names. So, oh, and this one's also got some rings. Look at that, blue and white rings in here as well. Look at that. So there we go. Let's go back to realistic. So we go. Hopefully, no shadow glitch. And no, I'm liking the surface color on that. It reminds me of like flower fields and stuff, like pink and all white flowers. So yeah, there we is the colors. A little larger than Earth. And then the stats we have 51 and 93. So there we are, looking good. I really like the rings. So then we've got Cherry Vanilla. Oh, and this one's looking good as well. So yeah, the sort of cherry, sort of pink colour with a white for the, the vanilla, I'm presuming. So there we are. Then we've got a blueberry um, sorbet here. So this is going with a nice bright blue with a white colour schema. And then we have Kronos here, going with a blue atmosphere. And then a yellow and blue theme underneath of the colours. A very, very sandy sort of yellow. But yeah, there it is. So looking good. So this is a moon of a moon as well. So yes, this is this is the perfect uh, way to make a simulation that you'd never be able to uh, run. I have to say, and I mean, I'm not, I'm definitely guilty of this as well with Subscribers Universe Season One because that system is crazy. Um, but yeah, having objects orbit other objects and then with rings as well. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. We can't play these simulations. Um, but yeah, anyways, moving on. So we've got Rudolph here. Then we've got um, Timothy. So there we are. So that's a gas giant. Um, then we got um, oh, I'm liking this. So the RI11CO05. This is a nice green colour, isn't it? Look at that. So we've got a uh, mint sort of green, and then we've got a bright lime green with it as well. Making a nice um, green ske um, colour scheme there. Then we've got this object here. Also reminds me of Pluto as well. Slightly different in colour. Not as good as the other one for a Pluto replica, I have to say. So there we've got that one there. Looking good. All right, next up we've got R1. So that's just an asteroid. Then we've got this one here. So nice D. Nice D. Neosti. I'm hoping this is how you say that. So we've got a lavender colour. Then we've got like a light pink with a white colour, white cream sort of colour scheme there. So there it is. Righty-o. Right, next up. And then we have R2, which is just another asteroid. 
All right, so it looks like we've got two more planets after this one. So this one's also going with a um, flower-filled sort of color scheme here as well, going with the pink, the white, and the um, purple. So there it is there. We've got obviously two stars as well, lighting it up on both sides, or lighting it up on both sides. So this one is a very large planet, though. Five Jupiters, 73,000. Pretty big rock, this one. Obviously not as big as my big rock, because obviously compared to my big rock, yeah, this is... Uh, not the largest planet, but yeah, it's still Jupiter-sized, um, which is pretty good for a rocky planet. So yeah, there it is there. Let's check the uh, stats on this. No life right could. Well, it's surprising because it has, obviously has no water, so yeah, I wouldn't expect it to. And we have a ga- Oh, is this my planet 9? No, I'm, I want to say no. Is that- That, I think that's different to mine. I'm going to compare that. If that is a- If this is not my planet 9, that is very close to it. Um, planet 9, let me- I want to compare those. I think mine's different to that. Place it. Look, let's look on the picture. I think that has a darker blue on one of the bands. You can see this section here. I'm zooming onto it. This bit is a darker blue. But if we compare it to mine, mine one doesn't have that band. Like you can see. Let me know. Are is this? Did you get this from me at some point, or is this a random spawn of your own? Because if that's a random spawn of your own, that's pretty crazy. But I think that has a darker blue. On the south here, I mean, I could be, maybe you like change it to a rocky planet and back to a gas giant because maybe the bands change a bit. So I know this planet has loads of different blues in it, but that's quite a dark blue band there. But I'm assuming this is a, a, a or this was originally based off my planet nine, but, but you never know. But yeah, I'm assuming this was off my, but you can, I can tell there's a darker band on the underneath the equator on the south sort of area that is slightly darker blue than the rest of the planet. So. Pretty interesting nonetheless, but yeah, I'm pretty sure um, that was based off my Planet 9. Um, so yeah, anyways, moving on. So then we've got um, Jas there, so it's a frozen object, and also we've seen this one. So there we go. Quite cool to have that Planet 9 in here, though. Uh, and then we've got Hot Head. So this is a 202 Earth object, um, quite big as well. So then we've got um, a few more moons around it. So there they are there. So looking good, right? And then lastly, we've got Haru out here. So this is a gas giant in the um, furthest reaches of this system here. Got on uh, realistic again to get the real look of it. So there it is there. And it's got a few moons around it as well. So there we go, all there. That that one is definitely the best looking out of them all, if you ask me. So there it is there. It's kind of a blue atmosphere with a red and blue surface underneath and very close um, gas giant there as well. But anyways, yeah, there we go. So that is it for this system, guys. Let's get, um, let's actually delete the rings and stuff so we can actually move around a little easier. So I'm hoping that, uh, did that delete them all? Yeah, that's deleted all the particles. So now we can get them all in the big line. So yeah, that was the Renski system, guys. So let me know, what do you think down below? Pretty interesting system, I have to say, of all those rings. So there we go, there's a comparison of all the objects. So obviously we've got our Sirius-like star, then we've got our Sun-like star, then we've got a brown dwarf, and then we're going into the planets here. So we can see we've got, um, the the, obviously, the large rocky planet, a bunch of gas giants. That one there is actually quite a nice one, I have to say. Then we're going into that. Yeah, I'm sh I think that was based off my planet, I have to say. I mean, if it wasn't and that was a random spawn for you, that is unbelievably close to what I have. Um, but yeah, there it is, that. Pretty sure it's a random spawn. Not a random spawn, pretty sure that was based off my one, though. Um, but yeah, there we go. And I've got to say, one of my favourites definitely has to be this one here. I really like that cyan and um, cyan and magenta colour there. Yeah, so and then this one as well. I really like I really like these wacky sort of colours. And then obviously there was two of those. We also got this one down here as well. I do like the one back up there though more than this one. And then this one as well. This is really cool. The arc. And then this Pluto um, lookalike as well. That's quite a nice one. So, yeah, they're my top planets for this system, guys. But let me know which planet do you think is the best. And also, let us um, know down below because I'm pretty sure the creator of this um, system, Renz, will be happy to um, hear some feedback on this system as well. And also, I'll leave a link. To Actually, no, I don't have a link to you. So, you have to send me a link um, if you have a YouTube channel, of course. So, you have to, yeah, let me know. Um, in the discord or something just send me a link so i can add it to the um, description of this video but yeah there we go guys so that is it for um this video today so hopefully you all enjoyed make sure if you did hit that like button let's see if we can get 50 likes on this video and also subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 6,000 subscribers as we are closing in on that number fast so a massive thanks again guys it's absolutely amazing and yes yeah, so that is all of it um today guys so yeah i will see you guys in the next video make sure you all have a great day and goodbye